Metal Slug Double X. G. Yeah. What's going down, people of YouTube? It's that boy Treasy here, bringing you the Metal Slug Double X Master Walkthrough for Mission One. Um, you can expect to see walkthroughs for each video. I'll be bringing them to you the same style as I did with the Metal Slug Three videos. Um, slightly different this time around in terms of the achievement itself, because the one tough achievement is for simply completing the game without continuing. You don't actually have to master each mission individually you know what I mean you, you can get away with dying twice throughout the game uh, there is seven missions so there will be seven separate videos for that for the uh, walkthrough and I'm using Ralph simply because as you would have just seen he can take he can take an extra hit and that just well you know it just knocks him over it doesn't cost a life or anything um, He's the only character I've completed the game with without continuing, so I'm gonna do it again. Um, you know, the game, the achievements aren't statistically as hard as Metal Slug 3. I mean, I'm talking true achievement terms here because obviously Metal Slug 3 you had to master each mission individually. Um, but the game, it has harder bits in it because I think they've gone more in the direction of. Um, taking the piss basically you you get some really frustrating parts where you, you're not going to be able to help but die like you know they, they, they do chuck a lot of shit at you at, at, at certain points throughout throughout the missions like you know you, you'll move up the enemies will spawn and, and you'll be in the middle of like a jump or whatever and all of a sudden some sort of rocket will just appear out of nowhere left side of the screen you wouldn't have even had time to look at it and it kills you you know what I mean you've got like two fighter jets coming from either side with a tank on the ground that's shooting at you and soldiers trying to melee you they've really stepped it up in terms of like number of enemies and, and, and crazy shit going on you know what I'm saying um but at the same time, you know, on the plus side, there is, a, a, like, you know, more weapons, um, vehicles. I guess vehicles do appear a bit more in this game, um, and you've got the ability to to switch weapons if you want to. So mission one, obviously, again, mission one shouldn't be giving you any trouble. Um, for future preference, you know, you'll see a lot in the videos. You know, I'm going to take my time throughout the missions you know what I mean so so, so it, the shit's easy to follow um, but I'm always keeping hold of the, of the good weapons or, or specific weapons I want to keep and basically what you're going to do you can see I've got the laser and the rocket launcher now so if I wanted to pick up um, let's say a grenade launcher but I wanted to keep the laser all you basically do though is just keep the laser as the selected weapon and then you pick up another power up and that replaces the one that you don't have selected simple as that and obviously you need to switch the difficulty to beginner um, and with that you automatically get a heavy machine gun power up as a, as a default weapon which is pretty good so you know what I mean tougher enemies more enemies but at the same time you are kind of equipped better for the job the only downside to using Ralph is that um, when he dies, his power ups disappear. Unlike the DLC character, I think it is, and he can carry. He only he carries less ammo for the power ups. So, there's mission one for you guys. Stay tuned for mission two, and I'll speak to you soon.